Hey, I know content is a struggle for a lot of people. That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. Welcome to the Everything Email Podcast with Ken Countess. Ken is a world-renowned email marketing expert. He'll help you 10x your business with email strategies that generate more sales. And now, here's Ken Countess. Hey, welcome to this week's episode of the Everything Email Podcast presented by Ken is Email. I'm Ken Countess. Episode 57 is about content. I know content is a struggle for lots and lots of people. You don't know what to write. You don't know when you talked about it last. You don't know if it's appropriate. You don't know if you're writing it correctly. You don't know if you're going to relate to your audience. Well, we're going to talk about that for a few minutes this time. Before I jump into that, though, I just want to make sure that you remember that you'll pick up lots and lots of tips every week in the Everything Email podcast, no doubt. But it's nothing like working with me directly. If you'd like to find out how to work with me directly, uh, just send me an email. Ken at KenIsEmail.com or go to our website, KenIsEmail.com. Dot com and just click one of the contact me buttons and let's have a conversation because you don't know what you're missing if you don't have a coach that'll work with you. It's easy to watch a lot of videos on YouTube. It's easy to ask a buddy, but you'll never get the same consistent expertise as you will by working with an expert. Okay, let me talk a little bit about content. It is so frequent that I get people who say to me, Ken, I don't know what to write. I don't know how often to send. I don't know if what I'm going to talk about is something that people need to know about. I don't know how much to write. I don't know if I'm writing too little. Are these the kinds of questions that you ask yourself? How long should the email be? What should it cover? What do I include? Let me make it super simple. If you are struggling for content, just go back to the emails that you've written in the past or the blog articles that you've written in the past or the things you've posted on social media in the past and use those as content in your emails. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, Ken, this is old news. Well, If you have been doing a great job at managing your email marketing campaigns or social media or your blog or what have you, you've probably also been working hard to grow your mailing list. So let's say, for example, you sent a great email out six months or a year ago, maybe even two years ago about the subject that you are a resident expert on. The people that may have seen that email or blog post a year or two ago, number one, they will never remember that they read whatever you're about to present word for word for word. It's almost like watching a movie for the second time or watching a rerun of an episode of something on TV that maybe you saw and maybe you remember part of it, but you'll never remember everything that you watched. So a lot of that content will actually feel like it's new to people who have already seen it. Here's something else to know. Just because people are on your mailing list does not mean they actually read your email top to bottom when they received it the first time around. Opens aren't necessarily opens. All that means is that a pixel in your email fired off and gave the email service provider a trigger that said they opened the email. But again, open doesn't mean they read it. And here's the third point. What about the people who were not on your list when you sent that email out the first time around? To them, it's brand new content. So short and sweet, don't worry about content that you've used in the past. If people have received it in the past, They probably did not read it word for word, and they certainly don't remember that they got the same thing from you a year ago. Seems like cheating, doesn't it? But the reality of life is this. We are bombarded with so much content, we don't remember things that we've seen in the past. Very few of us, very few of us, have a photographic memory. 
So don't be worried about reusing content you've had before. Don't worry about repurposing it. Especially if it had great open rates in the past, use it again. And if it didn't have a great open rate in the past, not to worry. You may have sent it on an off day. There may have been a million reasons why people didn't open it. Just make sure the subject line is engaging and that will help increase the open rates. There's, that'll increase the chances that people will actually read your email and you'll get the kind of result you're looking for. Okay, once again, if you and I have not yet had a conversation, if you're getting great tips each week listening to the podcast, or you're on my mailing list and you're getting great tips, I guarantee you it's not the same as you and I working together. Let's have a short phone call or schedule a Zoom call. You can go on my website and get that set up for you. There's no sales pitch. Let's have a conversation. Let's figure out how we might work together so I can help you generate more sales. Hey, thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, whether you're listening to it on Apple or Stitcher or Spotify or Google, or maybe you're watching on YouTube. Regardless of where you're finding the Everything Email podcast presented by KenIsEmail.com, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Thanks for listening. Hey, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Everything Email podcast with Ken Countess. If you like the podcast, tell your friends and coworkers about it. Be sure to visit KenIsEmail.com to sign up for Ken's mailing list. You'll get great marketing tips every week in your inbox. Have questions? Send Ken an email. It's Ken at KenIsEmail.com. See you next time.